Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting again to the finale of Magical Girl Lyrical Nanoha Have Vivid. It feels so weird to finally be here. I mean, uh, really as quickly as we went, because we went through this really quickly. And I mean, it was only 12 episodes, so I knew that, but still, hella quick. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 11 in 3, 2, 1, go. I still have the taste of pineapple in my mouth. It's Ooh. As a good punch, though, and also a good way to block herself. And then a chat. Okay. Well, I thought she was just going to go for Carol and directly, but no. Mm. But it makes the most sense to go for the golem. If she doesn't have the golem, then, mm. Oh, come on, honey. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, there's no way she's giving up that easy. You got to trust in her. No. Oh, Corona. No. Even if you didn't like it, Vivia would have still been friends with you. Okay. It could, but she still can't get up. Never mind. She getting up. That's a determined baby. Fool. I do hand to hand combat on that. Jesus Christ, she she is dangerously close, girl. Oh, 
That's it. Which is smart. I mean, a really good, smart, strategic move on her part because of the fact is within the limited time that she has, since she can't summon, it's just like, screw it. Put that itch on my body. And then it has the same amount as the golem if he was hitting her. Basically. Okay. Sad day, though. Sad day, though. I'm sorry. She, my mom wouldn't text me. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. I gotta finish this. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that game? No, she's still up. Oh, my God. That's it.
Exactly. Baby literally does not want to give up. And I love that. I mean, that's determination on her part. That's really good for her. But girl, like, I mean, know when you are finished. Your body has to know. But she's like, nah. Baby is like, fuck it. I am getting this done. I am kicking some butt and taking names. Shut up, phone. That's a determination in her.
Hmm. Would I really hurt? That's it. There's no way she can get up from that. That was a damn good match, though. I mean, in a way, this episode felt like the last episode, in a way. But it does make me wonder, what the heck is the last episode about to be about? Who about to go in the next match? But both of these two, for both Corona and Einhart, they both put their all into it. And I love when you get to see matches like that, where it's just like, you know... It's two best friends going against each other, and it's like, okay, hey, you know, despite our friendship, don't go too easy on me. I'm not a little weakling as, like, you think I am all the time. Because Baby was over here bringing out things that she ain't bring out before, which is a good thing. You don't always want to tell everybody your strategy movements and everything and what you want to do as a career-wise and stuff, because next thing you know, someone's going to ask, oh, hey, how's X, Y, and Z? Don't do that. Be smart. Always keep to yourself. You watch over everybody. You don't say anything. And when it's time to say something or time to do something, that's when you go in for the kill. That's right. <laughs> but no, seriously, both of them did a damn good job. Was not expecting that outcome to go the way it was. But because of the fact is, you know, Einhart wants to fight Vivio again. We we already knew. As much as I hated to admit it, we already knew. Now, it does make me wonder for, like, when I watch, I think it's Vivi Str uh, Striker's? I think is the next one after this, even though I'm not watching it next. Um, are there are these girls at all we're featured? Are they gonna like show up in the next season? Cause I I don't want it to be like oh hey we're only we're getting only focused on Einhard, Vivio, um, Corona, what's her face, and everybody else like our normal group that we've met throughout the show with other seasons and everything. I just hope all the rest of these girls, you know. They're not just here for the tournament arc. We just get to see them other things, but you never know. Next thing you know, I get to the next series after, you know, the next show that I'm about to watch after this, and then boom, they don't show up. <laughs> but go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode 12. Alrighty, episode 12 in 3, 2, 1.
Girlfriends. Girlfriends, Your Honor. Mm hmm. So be proud about that. Aw, he's so sweet. Hmm? <gasps> oh no! It really was. I think, honestly, it was the best match of all the matches we've seen the last couple of weeks. Freaking Chris, I can't. <laughs> No.
That's not a smart thing to do. Once again, never underestimate your opponent. Oh. Are we in the stomach acid? I mean, hold up, like, that that's a rare freaking ability, and I mean, shouldn't there be, like, something where she can't use something like that? Because, I mean, no offense, like, that kind of seems like it's cheap. No rules were violated! cute though I'd be traumatized after that like bruh mm -mm. go on Ayn Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm.
That's right. Mm-hmm. So it's okay. I go to... That's right. And be proud. <laughs> mhm. Mm And you thought she was going to hate you or dislike you or envy you. You're right. Yeah.
I mean, are we really surprised about that? A little, but excited. I mean, seriously, these little girls are just kicking ass and taking names. They, they don't care who they taking out in the process, but... Mm. <laughs> I, you know, I don't think so either. Okay, final thoughts on this season for this show. This was ridiculously cute. I, I love the fact is, once again, it's focusing on Vivio because it made the most sense, one. Two, I mean, because since Nanoha is older and she's kind of at her mommy age and stuff, I, I figured we weren't going to get, like, episodes or series where it really was going to be her focus. Cody! I'm sorry. But no, still at the end of the day, it was cute. Once again, I also loved seeing everyone that we've seen from the beginning of the series up until now. So it was just like a really, like a return home. That's what it would have felt like to me. Every single episode when you had any of them interacting together at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, having it be focused on Vivio, like I said, really sweet. And I love the fact that we're getting another season of her. I, I love the art style of this once again. I know I said that in episode one, but we're saying that again. Art style of this was super duper adorable. Diabetes cute. Hella diabetes. It was just too adorable. I loved how everybody looked in this art style. I am just hoping that in the next season for this, that Fate gets to have a little bit more screen time. Same thing with Nanoha. I mean, because I get it. It is Vivio's show. But it's magical girl, lyrical, Nanoha, before Vivid. Nanoha has to have, like, something. Any little moment. Same thing with Fate. They, they're the girlfriends. They're the wives. It's supposed to be in her life, like, 24-7. So, give her some moment. Now, I mean, expecting it at first, like, Einhart, I thought really she was going to be, like, the big bad. But seeing how she semi kind of went big bad to just being a normal chick from you know um figuring out her past life was very interesting so i hope we get to learn more about that in the next half um corinna you did good baby you did really good real same thing you did good both of them did good everybody did good i'm just really proud of these girls like i said in the previous video i would like to see the rest of these girls that we did see in the last few weeks getting more attention in the second half of this i don't want it to be like after nationals is done we don't see them again because shows have done this including this show as well in my opinion where we have a character and we don't see them again for like the longest time you'd be like well damn i know they was busy but you could have gave some screen time out to them but you know like i said at the end of the day y'all do you this show was already really over so I don't really know what in the world they could do um, next or what could possibly be in store next for these girls for, what, the next 12 episodes and such. But, I mean, yeah, other than that, it was a really good ride. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for choice, the entirety of Magical Girl, Lyrical, Nana Hunt, Vivid. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons, and next Thursday for everybody else for the net, well, the, can't even say the next series of this because we are going into something new. So Patreons, they already know what it is uh, officially as of this time, by the time this comes out. So probably next Thursday, I will be watching the first two episodes. If not Thursday, probably maybe Wednesday or Tuesday because 
I, I'm trying to schedule my time because officially as of tomorrow, aka the second, Persona 4, <laughs> Persona 4, Persona 3 Reload comes out and adding that into my schedule of everything else that I'm about to do, I'm just about to be a very busy AFB with all the little things that I gotta do, so who knows how the hell it's gonna go for me. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!